Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Crosscut. As you can see, his alternate mode is a sports car. He is a repaint and a retool of, well, skids from the same line and also repainted and retooled into roll bar for the uh, the Breakout Battle 3 pack from the Age of Extinction line. Uh, if you've seen that video. Uh, so yeah, primary colors mostly for this guy, all silver, does have some transfers to blue, does have some yellow, does have some red, some an Autobot symbol right in the front. And yeah, all in all, car mode looks very cool. He does come with the same accessories as his predecessors, and that is of course this um, this mini uh, I think it's a I think it's a grenade launcher and this is just like a shotgun. Anyways, you can like the others, you can combine the two to give him a nice rifle. Which is very cool. Now, obviously guys you can see this guy's a little messed up. Well, I don't know if my figure's badly constructed or whatever, but yeah. Um I had trouble trying to get this figure together. I think I may have done something wrong. Actually, speaking of something getting uh, something getting done wrong, I obviously, uh, before I continue, I obviously want to give a huge, huge shout out to Nathan Howard. He um, he obviously, he gave me a, a tip on how to fix, because uh, obviously when I was reviewing the Breakout Battle Optimus, I told, you, I told everyone that the grill did not stay flush with the rest of the fi figure. He told me to just shave two uh, two tabs uh, right off the in vehicle mode, and then just then it'll be flush as simple as that. So I'm just, thank you, Nathan Howard, uh, for for giving me the tip, and I will certainly get around to fixing it. I haven't done it yet, but you know I'll I'll get around to doing it. Anyways, guys, oh, and he does have some brownish black for the grill. Transformation for this guy is exactly the same as before with uh, uh, skids and roll bar respectively. So again, I will not be going in depth into the transformation for this guy, but by all means, if you want to see a detailed figure review, go take a look at skids. I believe I reviewed him quite a while ago, I think a long, long time ago, probably Probably two years ago I reviewed Skids when he came out. Could be wrong. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Doo -doo. Get that settled. Da -da. Come on. Get that. There we go. There's, this is a problem with my figure. The waist loves to fall off. Even it even, even fell out when I was opening him from the from his packaging. It was pretty ridiculous to be honest. So, uh, but nevertheless, it's okay. I can think it's a fixable problem, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong in the past before. So, oh, and there it goes. There goes his lower body. It's again. Ah, I know. It, 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 I don't have the same problem with skids or roll bar, for those of you who don't know. But, hey, I can live with it. Darn, may have hurt my thumb, but I'm okay. Da -da -da. Get the head out of there uh, and there goes the waist again there we go just give me a sec guys while I try to put the waist back together it's obviously a pain in the ass but there we go no harm no foul get that done and get the, the backpack situated. Uh, uh, 
And there you go, there you have Crosscut in robot mode. All in all, he looks very awesome. I'm not gonna lie, he is pretty cool. Articulation wise, exactly the same as before with the other molds, da da da. You know, waist, but again, my figure tends to pop off the waist, pretending to be a, you know, wants to be a centaur, you know, that kind of, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Obviously in my personal life, I'm <laughs> part of my uh, personal life because I'm taking a course in that. One of my courses is that. Anyways, head sculpt, very cool. It's obviously a lot different. Looks very Optimus Prime-ish, which is very awesome. He does have the Autobot symbol as well. But yeah, all in all, figure is very cool. Same chromish paint scheme as Leader Jetfire, I find. I could be wrong. And again, with the other two molds, he can he does have all he is armored to the Armor to the teeth, so you may want to be careful when you, because you don't want to mess with him. Again, he does have the same shoulder cannons as before. And then you can give him his. Oh. And I'm just going to give him both, both his weapons. Like so. So yeah, all in all, will I recommend getting Crosscut? I'm going to say yes. If uh, you're a huge fan of this mold and you're a completist, go get him. If you have two of the three molds, you know, skids and roll bar, I would recommend getting it. I, would, I probably would pass him, but I mean, the color scheme looks awesome. And if you... Um, and if you uh, have all three, have, if you, you know, if you all have, if you have all three molds and you want to get a fourth just to customize, I know Cheetahmus Prime likes to do that. By all means, go just do it. But I wish that um, hopefully this mold can be revisited so it can be a Decepticon because all three molds have been Autobots. I'd like to see a Decepticon version of it. Maybe uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of it. Maybe, I don't know, Knockout maybe, or, I don't know. I'm, it's hard to choose, you know? But, all in all, I'm really satisfied with this figure, and I would highly recommend getting this purchase if you can find him. Just be careful if your figure, like mine, has the waist trying to pop off. Anyways, guys, that is my video review of the Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Crosscut. I will see you all very soon. I'll be back as soon as possible in the next video, and yes, take care, see you soon, have a great day, and I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.